Good afternoon. My name is Dave Burdick. I'm the VP of Marketing at here at Eon Software. And on behalf of Eon and our friends at Safe Harbor, uh, I'd like to welcome you to our presentation of uh, our Eon products and services. Uh, so today I have a 30-minute presentation. And uh, what I'd like to do is to walk you through a couple of things. First, we'll talk a little bit about uh, the company, a brief overview. Uh, <clears throat> then we'll talk and dive down into some of the markets that we serve. Uh, then we'll talk uh, about what we think is our uh, primary mission in life, which is this area of digital nature and why we feel that digital nature needs to become a fundamental component of your CG workflow. We'll spend a few minutes then talking about the product line, and then we'll conclude with uh, a discussion and overview of the View 9 and View 9.5 key features. What I'd like to do, first of all, is to begin with an overview a video, quick video overview, which is a montage of how our clients and customers are using our products. So let's me let's begin on with this. You should see this in the upper right hand corner of your screen. Okay, so now that I have your attention, that's a little clip uh, that we did for last year's SIGGRAPH uh, that contains uh, some information, a montage of what our clients are doing with View. You can see there's quite a range of things that they're doing with our products. So let's begin with the uh, formal part of the presentation. As you well know, uh, Eon Software, or at least we like to think of ourselves as the leader in digital nature, and we've established this leadership position through several key initiatives. First of all, we've introduced a number of important breakthrough technologies with every release while we have continuously improved performance, stability, and interoperability. We currently have uh, around a dozen patents in this area of digital nature. Secondly, our products are recognized across the world and have won numerous awards. And if you go to the new uh, CG Magazine website, you'll see that uh, uh, we've got two nominations, uh, our product View 9 uh, as the best new release of the year and Luminar T as the best new breakthrough plug-in of the year. Uh, third, we are most proud of the fact that uh, virtually all of the major CG studios and companies have adopted our products and solutions as an important part of their workflow. And this is evidenced by the fact that many new blockbuster movies such as Avatar, Clash of the Titans, and many others are now using Eon solutions for their CG digital nature shots. So these companies have not just adopted Eon solutions, but they're putting it to work in very significant and very visible ways, and we're very proud of that. So let's talk a little bit about some of the markets that uh, our technologies are used in. Uh, there are five key markets that Eon software serves. The largest of those uh, is the animation special effects market. Uh, this is the market where companies like ILM, Weta, and DreamWorks a use view for projects requiring very high fidelity digital nature CD. This market will continue to be a major growth market for us as more and more projects are now using digital nature as a fundamental part of their CG workflow. And uh, you can see that uh, in the recent movie Avatar, we were used on over 330 shots, and we're very proud of that fact. The architecture market is our fastest growing opportunity. We're finding that increasingly architects are being asked to deliver complete designs with a full digital nature context. 
so that their clients can better understand not only the design aspect, but the aesthetic environmental impact that their buildings and structures will have on their surroundings. And we've added quite a few new capabilities in view, along with some other new products that I'll talk about later, such as Luminar T, to provide a much more complete and rich set of tools and capabilities for the architectural market. The art and illustration market is really where we began almost 15 years ago. Uh, it's still a very important uh, market for us for magazines like uh, National Geographic, Reader's Digest, and others utilize you for vibrant illustrations on our ever-changing world. The broadcasting and advertising market is a relatively new growth market, which is also adopting digital nature solutions at a much faster rate due to the wow factor that it can add. We're also finding that many companies in this area uh, are seeing that it's uh, much more cost effective to build digital nature scenery for their commercial backdrops and sets versus filming and editing traditional camera, camera footage. And finally, the GIS and scientific market is a relatively new market for us. And here, companies are now starting to use VIEW to generate very high quality animated output uh, to breathe life into their scientific data. And we're continuing to add new features in the view, such as real world units and specialized interface uh, in order to broaden views uh, appeal in this large potential opportunity. So as you can see, our products and technologies are being put to use across a wide array of mar markets and, and industries. So let's talk a little bit about this area of digital nature. Why digital nature? What is the business case for digital nature? First of all, uh, we believe that the digital nature market will continue to grow and accelerate and become a much more significant solution component in the overall CG tool mix across all of the markets that we serve. We think that the introduction of the outstanding movie Avatar has really awakened the entire CG universe to the possibilities and value of really what digital nature can deliver. And as I mentioned before, it can really add the wow factor to many CG programs and products. Uh, as I also mentioned earlier, a number of our customers are finding that it's much more economical to use VIEW for creating digital nature scenery instead of hiring a film and editing crew to go out and shoot scenery in some remote part of the world. So there's now a very strong economic justification and large potential savings at work here for using VIEW. Also, creating scenery using our digital nature technologies provides much greater artistic control and freedom to create and innovate, and this is something that directors of a lot of these productions are using VIEW for. Uh, one of the things that these directors are doing now is they're finding that VIEW is an excellent tool for what we like to call rapid scene prototyping and previs. Uh, and this allows creative directors and artists to sort of craft storyboard scenery and work out various creative scenarios in a very quick and unobtrusive manner so they can rapidly create and storyboard their designs and ideas and thoughts and get it down uh, into something that they can share with everybody quite easily. For architects, uh, digital nature can really make designs come alive and can often be the difference in winning the final bid. And we're finding that the architects are really now starting to use digital nature as a fundamental compart component of their workflow. And perhaps most important of all, uh, digital nature offers features and capabilities not found in traditional CG applications. So let's take a few moments and talk about what we believe some of these unique capabilities are. First of all, the world of real nature, as we all know, is filled with infinite complexity, and the digital equivalent is no different. Traditional CG apps typically deal with poly counts of maybe a few million. However, in the digital nature realm, scenes containing billions and trillions of polygons are the norm. So with this kind of complexity and large poly count, it would bring most CG systems to their knees. With view, however, it's handled with ease using breakthrough technologies such as our ecosystems for. To make environmental scenery appear more natural, it requires that scenery elements such as plants and vegetation behave naturally and are sufficiently diverse in their appearance. So uh, as this little movie shows, what we try to do here is to make 
this diversity appear much more natural. And the competing CG systems, which can scatter and mass only a few plant objects around the scene by just scaling or rotating identical instances, was insufficient to generate believable diversity. With VUE, all plant instances are completely unique and contain subtle but important changes to feature shape or number of branches and trunk thickness. So our highly acclaimed Soligo 4 technology also provides natural wind and breeze effects to breathe lifelike animation to all plants and trees in the scene. In the digital world, you also have to be able to create scenes which can support infinite scope and scale. And what we mean by that is that natural scenery must allow navigation at any level, whether you're flying over the scene from outer space or zooming in your rock structures, the integrity and fidelity of the scene be preserved at all levels and must blend seamlessly with man-made structures, objects, humans, and animals. Our enabling technologies like our infinitely detailed terrains and spherical terrains make all of this possible. Our Eon Spectral 3 atmosphere technology is used extensively throughout the CG industry due to its vivid realism and ease of use. Creating stunning volumetric cloudscapes or breadth of sunsets is viewed as a snap with our spectral atmospheric technology. It also provides a very accurate simulated environment that affects all elements of the scene and behaves according to nature rules. So scene elements blend naturally and take on a much more lifelike appearance. So you can do things like we're showing here where a plane can fly through with colored lights and those lights, the color of the light are actually reflected uh, directly into the cloud. A key factor in providing high fidelity digital nature realism is the interaction of light and shadows within the scene. And we've introduced a number of important breakthroughs in this area, such as our indoor radiosity engine, which enables fast, very high quality rendering of complex natural scenery. There are also extensive lighting options available to handle virtually condition imaginable, from brightly lit sun-filled scenes to nighttime rendering of city streets and buildings. Finally, having all these power technologies useless unless they're crafted together in such a way that allows the artist to effortlessly use them uh, in a way that maximizes creativity. We call this artistic control. And at Eon, we continue to invest resources to ensure that our products are not only easy to learn and use, but that they allow fine-grained control over all artistic aspects. So for example, we have this new technology called ecosystems painting that allows artists to interact with plants and objects in a scene as easily as if they were just painting with a brush.